After weeks of campaigning for Prabowo Subianto and his running mate Gibran Rakabuming Raka, it's now time to party. We will be the president, the vice president and the government for all Indonesian people. The official count could take up to a month, but all signs point to a decisive victory for Prabowo and Gibran. Supporters of Prabowo Subianto and Gibran Raka Buming Raka are already in celebration mode. While opinion polls had shown for weeks that they were the front runners, there were doubts about whether they would be able to secure an outright victory in the first round. But according to the quick count, the pair appear to be faring even better than expected. Prabowo ran for president in 2014 and 2019 and lost to Gibran's father, President Joko Widodo. But this election was different. This time he has uh, something he didn't have before, which is uh, an all but explicit endorsement from President Jokowi Dodo. Jokowi, as he is called, is in the final months of his presidency. He still has high approval ratings, but couldn't run again due to a constitutional term limit. Some civil society groups and academics have accused the president of meddling and favoring the Prabowo Gibran campaign. Other presidential candidates have also raised concerns during the campaign season. We have experienced uh, difficulties in organizing our campaign uh, due to unnecessary men, something that we never experienced in the past as a, as a country. But those criticisms did not resonate with many of Jokowi's supporters. Since 2019, 72-year-old Prabowo has served as defense minister, working closely with Joko Widodo and transforming his image from the president's rival to a close ally. Earlier this week, in an exclusive interview with Al Jazeera, Prabowo summarized his vision for Indonesia. My policy is a very rational, logical, common sense approach that is actually building up on all the work of our predecessors. Now he is the closest he has ever been to Indonesia's top job, a role he has wanted for years. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.